Chloe Cast is no more. This is the Zort Central Show. Hello, I'm Mike the Zorch, and this is the Zorch Central Show. Now, I feel as if I really need to take this show in a different direction. Chloe Cast has always been a show about the channel and where it's going, and me making lots of excuses about why this isn't done, that isn't done, or we're talking about the the setup, how this is all getting built, and how it took forever for this to get all set up and working. So I felt it's best to take things in a different direction, and I've already decided that this channel will be more about geek stuff. Of course, there will be gaming content, but it will be focused a lot on all aspects of geekdom. I'm an all-arounder. I like video games, I like anime, I like movies, I'm a fan of DC, I like their animated stuff, their movies or so so and I really like the uh, I really like the MCU so it's show will cover a lot of that that would be every two weeks and since this channel's focus is not really cloying the professor anymore and I think that the purpose for cloying the professor has been basically reached I originally created that show in order to bring to light things that the AAA industry was doing. And gamers have woken up, not because of my show, but because of what AAA industry themselves were doing. They overreached and gamers woke up and they're still awake and they are not taking it anymore. They're standing up for themselves. And I feel that Chloe the Professor has achieved that goal. Chloe, that the original purpose for the show has been achieved. Gamers are standing up for themselves against an industry that has been exploiting them for a long time. So instead of just no longer producing Chloe the Professor anymore, I thought, you know, I still liked making the show. Why not take it in a new direction? Uh, So I'm currently working on that. Uh, Don't expect any new episodes anytime soon, but I am working on a new direction for Chloe and the Professor. Exactly where to take it. Not a such a radical new direction that it will be jarring, but something that will be a little bit of what it was, but less focused on harping about the gaming industry and more about other subjects. So look forward to that in the future. Speaking of gaming, players have been able to mess around with the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta and based on their response, it's not really that great. In fact, the response has been rather negative. Now Treyarch has said that they are listening listening to the community and they're going to do something about it. They're going to make some changes. Now, whether or not they actually do make some improvements to the game, that remains to be seen. Activision doesn't really have a very good track record when it comes to innovating in Call of Duty. And so, is this going to be more of the same? Now, we have not seen their battle royale mode yet so that's coming up we'll have to wait and see are they going to focus most of their work on that mode because everybody and their everybody and their brother wants to grab that Fortnite success and some companies have been somewhat successful and others have not in recent weeks so we will see Moving on from gaming, in a recent interview, J.J. Abrams has outlined how he's going to close out General Leia's storyline in Star Wars Episode Nine. Now, as you know, Carrie Fisher passed away, and J.J. Abrams has said that they tried to write 
General Leia out of the story, and they just couldn't. They need to finish her arc. They need to do her her character justice. And so they went back to her estate and they got their permission for them to put her back in the film. But not as CG, not the way they did Grand Moff Tarkin and the way they did a young Princess Leia. They're going to use unused, unreleased footage recorded from The Force Awakens. Now, how much of this footage they have, we don't know. None of this footage has been seen. It's not a part of any of the deleted scenes that have been seen from The Force Awakens. There's a lot of footage that was left on the cutting room floor, stuff that was never used, deleted scenes, probably a lot of it in order to in order to put her back in the film. They could also use various effects. They could use like a compositing to put Princess Leia or General Leia in a scene where she wasn't before in the original filming. They could do some things like that, but they said that they will not create a CG version of her the way they did Tarkin. And they want to end her story right. Hopefully, hopefully with what happened with the Han Solo movie, Disney has basically gotten the memo that identity politics doesn't sell. And their investors are probably not happy that this is being done to Star Wars. And so they may not be firing Kathleen Kennedy. But they may be telling her to tone down the politics a bit or stop it altogether rather than actually outright firing her. I think if they continue and episode nine bombs, we could probably be seeing the end of Kathleen Kennedy's career at Lucasfilm. That's if episode nine ends up being like episode eight. Because they really need to finish out Carrie Fisher's arc as General Leia. They really need to finish that up. Now, how far they're gonna take it and exactly how they're gonna explain how she passes away or how she's not in the story anymore, I don't know. We do know that Mark Hamill will be coming back as Luke Skywalker, probably as a Force ghost. We know from the end of The Last Jedi that Yoda was able to take on physical form. I mean, he whacked Luke in the head with his cane. So could Luke take on physical form? Is there something more to the Force than we know? After all, the Mortis arc is canon. It was canonized in the Clone Wars series and it was canonized in Rebels. So, could he take on physical form being a Force ghost? Very, very likely. Hopefully, J.J. Abrams will steer the series back in the direction it's supposed to go to steer the the films back in the direction it's it needs to go or well as i said we might be seeing kathleen kennedy's last days at lucasfilm in another recent interview henry cavill has expressed an interest to play geralt of rivia in the netflix witcher series now he said that he's a fan of The Witcher 3, which is, hey, cool. And, you know, his sort of almost cold, emotionless Superman that he's been playing in the DCU, which is completely, I don't know, it's, it's, his portrayal of Superman is sort of strange. Superman is supposed to be a lot more upbeat than he is. And... You know, he was a little better at the in the end of Justice League. A little more the, the classic Superman that we know from the, you know, Christopher Reeve era. But he felt so alien. He felt so not emotionally attached. He just, it's like he couldn't relate to the people around him. Despite the fact that he was raised on Earth by humans. He lived on Earth his, in, you know, his entire childhood. He was only on Krypton for like 
what, a few few days, a few hours at, at most. And so he was raised on earth, yet he acts like he can't relate to people, which is weird. But that kind of stoic, you know, emotionless sort of attitude would fit for Geralt because of the Witcher mutations, Ace suppresses emotions. Now, fans have been calling for Mads Mikkelsen to take up the role of Geralt of Rivia, and he could fit well, too. He's definitely got the voice, and, you know, with the beard and everything, he could probably do it. Mads Mikkelsen could probably do it. We don't know who is going to be cast in the show. There's been no casting information at all. The show is still very much in early pre-production at Netflix, and we probably won't see anything of the series until like 2020 or, or later. Because they haven't even been filming yet. They don't even have a cast yet. But once we get information on casting and anything else, you'll see it here on the Zort Central show. We also know that they will not be following the books strictly. They will be going, taking information from the books and the video game series, both in the story. And coming up in the near future in the Zort Central channel, Warframe Wednesday will be returning soon. I'll be going back into Warframe. I'll also be doing some other stuff, possibly with Minecraft. I will be doing more stuff with No Man's Sky, probably on Gamers Bay. Also, I am working on the next big episode of an old otaku. I want to put more anime content on the channel and so the next episode that's coming up will be on Yurusi Yatsura which is a series based on a manga by Rumiko Takahashi who is best known for Ranma Half and Inuyasha. This is one of her earliest works and it's probably a very important one as well because it this started a major genre that's still going on right now in anime and that's all we have really time for right now there will be more there will be changes to this show as well as we get into the groove of the program it won't always be just these news snippets and then just basic information about the channel it'll be about everything we may have co-hosts on the show may bring tigra back onto the show at some time and we'll be discussing different things. We'll be talking about different geek stuff. He's into different anime than I'm into, but he, he does like anime. He's into different kinds than I'm into. We both like the MCU. We both like Star Wars. Uh, we both like DC. More of the animated DC than the live action stuff. Although I do have to say that Justice League was better than a lot of people are saying it is, but it's nowhere near DC Universe, DC, no, it's nowhere near the DC Cinematic Universe level. Nowhere near. I mean, it was okay, it was not terrible, but it doesn't compare to the Avengers, it doesn't compare to Iron Man, it, it, it's all right but it just missing some of those things that makes the Marvel Universe films so much better. It is just missing that. And so we may have a show where we'll discuss that. We'll discuss, you know, why Justice League isn't as good as anything from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You may see that in the future. So, I have been Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching. This is the Zorch Central Show. See you next time.